Hello to everyone. My name is Maria Gwovac and I'm very pleased to welcome you at our conference of today, which is um, devoted to the energy issue. Uh, I'm very happy to see you so many because it's, uh, it's, it's important to, to see that our, our, our conferences are successful and, uh, and there are a lot of uh, interesting um, interest uh, among our colleagues. So I'm really happy to see that. Uh, today, uh, we are going to approach the energy issue differently in a very holistic way with our uh, coach, uh, Alexia Sule, who is French, but she will be um, uh, dealing with, with this conference with carrying with uh, in, in English. So I would like just to introduce Alexia to you. Hello, Alexia. Hello. Hello to everyone. Hello. I am at home. No, I don't see you. You can't see me. Yes, but it's okay. So, I yes. forgot to tell that this is a trade union, the Renova Democracy, who is inviting you and who is hosting all participants at you in this conference. So, floor is you. Thank you, thank you, Maria, for your introduction words. So welcome to everyone. I'm very pleased to be here and it's an honor for me to talk to you about energy uh, and to talk to instit European institution uh, audience. So thank you for welcoming me today. Um, I am Alexia Sole. Uh, as Maria said, I'm certified professional coach. Here I am at home at Verneuil-sur-Seine, it's near Paris. Uh, to introduce myself, uh, I graduated uh, in 2008 with a Master of International Management at Neoma Business School. And I worked for 12 years in mass consumption for global corporations. I was in charge of business and human development. I wanted to contribute to people's uh, well-being in my company. So HR interested me with the deployment of a program in favor of engagement, happiness, and well-being. And then I contributed to the last transformation plan within my company. Today, as a professional coach, my intention is to help people to feel good and at their best all day long, individually and collectively. So the intent of this event, of this conference today, is to better equip you to feel at your best. That's why I'm here today. And we'll see that energy is like a muscle we can all develop with training and perseverance. To get the most out of this conference, it's important to slow down and be present. And you will see that it will be an active conference. So um, if you're ready to be in active participation, it would be just great. Uh, throughout this conference, you are encouraged to share your thoughts, your comments, your questions or doubts in the chat. We'll answer the questions at the end of the, con of the conference, but you can write it during the conference and we will write it and answer just, just after. So let's have a look on the program. I'm going to share my screen. It's if it's okay, tell me. Yeah, then maybe That's you it. can do it bigger. Yeah, thank you. Yes, all good. So what the program of this hour? We are going to talk about energy, energy and its four dimensions. Then you'll have the opportunity to evaluate your level of energy. We'll share several best practices to boost your energy and we'll see the benefits of a high level of energy for you, for your project, for your team, for your organization. Then you'll have time to reflect on an individual action plan. And finally, a time for question before concluding. I hope it's okay for you for the program. So let's, let's start. Uh, why managing our energy on our own is so important. You and I live in a VUCA world. What does VUCA mean? VUCA stands for volatility, 
uncertainty, complexity, and ambiguity. All organizations have to adapt to this environment to survive, as do we. Over the 12 years I worked for Global Corporation, it went through five major transformation plans. I've seen and experienced our difficulties from a human point of view to face organization change, higher complexity, time pressure, work overload, mind overload, increased demands, and more and more tensions. I saw the situation impact people's well being and engagement. This uh, tu as mute. Tu es muté. Okay, you can understand. Voilà. Bon. Bon. Do I have to repeat no, no, what have I just it. sorry because it was a uh, yeah. Okay. So okay. Um so I said that you and I we are in the VUCA world. What does VUCA mean? Me, VUCA stands for volatility, uncertainty, complexity, and ambiguity. And all organizations have to adapt to this environment to survive, as do we. Over the 12 years uh, I've worked for global corporations, it went through five major transformation plans. And I have seen and experienced our difficulties to face organization change higher complexity, time pressure, work overload, mind overload, increased demands, and more and more tensions. I saw the situation impact people's well-being and engagement despite their work ethics and professionalism. Sometimes it impacts also personal lives, personal projects, and professional performance. My conviction is that the global crisis we have been living in for more than a year amplifies all these difficulties as teleworking does also. To start, I would like you to put in the chat your energy level at this moment in a scale from zero to 10. Zero is when you feel no energy and 10 is when you feel at your best. Do you see? Four, three, yes, seven, five, thanks. One, nine, five, eight, six. Well, thanks. Ten. We have ten. Yes. <laughs> Even if fifteen. Oh, wow. Fifteen. You could share your best practices also to, to be at 10 and at 15, that's great. It will help others, it's very good news, thank you. Okay, I have a, a problem to, to go on my next slide, but it, it will come, it's not a problem. So thank you all for responding. We can see that everyone has a different, a different level of energy at this moment. If I asked you this morning, maybe you would have answered differently. And if I ask you this evening, you will probably give another answer. Why? Because energy fluctuates over the day and over time. Internal and external reasons impact our level of energy. For instance, a bad sleep, a headache, an email that upsets you, and you can lose your energy. On the contrary, a good news, a positive feedback, and you can increase your energy. Okay, I would like to, to go on next slides, but it's quite difficult. Maybe it's because we have a great audience. So it doesn't work, maybe we have... No, just I'm gonna try to start again. You have enough energy to deal with this. Oh yes, absolutely. And and you maybe you can 
I don't know, think about a song you love or something like that. <laughs> Just <laughs> the time it comes. And so maybe you can stop sharing and, and, and again, no? Okay, you're right. Let's try. Sorry. Yes, sorry about that. Okay. Can you see my screen? Yes. Oh, no. Yeah. Okay. All good. Yes, we see it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Good. So, good news is personal energy is renewable. Good news is that we all have the ability to grow our energy as we want, as we wish, on our own. It's great news because we will see that thanks to energy rituals, we can boost on our own our energy. The model we will see invites us to, to see daily tasks like a sprint instead of a marathon. And considering daily tasks like a sprint allow moments of high expenditure of energy and moments of deep recover. Let's take a deeper look on energy. As Maria said, on introduction. Energy flows from four areas. Physical energy is for a strong and active body. Mind energy is for a clear mind and focus. Emotional energy is to access to emotional balance, positivity and resilience. Spiritual energy, not, it's not spiritual in a religious term. It, the meaning we give to our action is our purpose in life. It's our passion. It's what drives us every day in our actions. So the four dimensions are separated but interconnected. It means that if you go higher on a dimension, it will grow the energy on the other dimensions. On the contrary, if you lose energy on one dimension, it will impact negatively the other dimensions. If you are high on the four dimensions, you'll feel at your best. I'm sure you've already experienced a situation where you felt at your best. In this situation, you were probably full of engagement. There were no barriers, no problem. You felt you have you reached your potential. We can renew our energy in these four dimensions with some simple rituals that we will see just after. This model of the power of full engagement from Tony Schwartz and Jim Lauer was first applied to top athletes and then they spread the application to the US Navy, hospital areas and then corporations. To give you an example, of someone who have a, a, a great uh, energy. It's our European astronaut, Thomas Pesquet. Thomas Pesquet has intense body training, very good stress management, especially when he goes to space. He has high focus and emotional balance. Another example, it's um, the military, firefighters, officers from special forces that, that have a great deal with their energy and they are trained on these dimensions to do their jobs. To know how to, to identify our energy, it's interesting to have um, a close look on how we are managing these four energy dimensions. For that, I invite you to evaluate your level of energy. So if you can take a pen and a piece of paper uh, and answer these questions, you, are, you have in front of you several statements. If you agree with this statement, you put one. If you, if you disagree with this statement, you put zero. And we are going to do this on the four dimensions. We're going to start with physical 
energy. So you, you just put the one or zero and then you sum up your points. And don't be surprised by negative affirmations. It's been done on purpose. I just give you two minutes on each dimension. So we have to put Alexia uh, in the box. Uh, yes. No, 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 no. Uh, just on, on a piece of paper. No, no, um, our, our paper, yes. I agree, yeah, one or disagree. Okay, this is our positive. Just one, okay. Yes, mm -hmm. just one or zero on your paper on the physical dimension, and then we'll see the other dimensions. Excuse me, you say that there are seven questions, but I only see five questions on the screen. I'm sorry if I said seven, it's just five questions. You're okay, right. Okay, thank you. On the dimension. Thank you. Yeah, just a few seconds left. Is it okay for you? Yes. Okay. Yes, okay. Don't hesitate to put in the chat. Thank you very much. Okay. Emotional wow. dimension. <laughs> you have to work a little bit. <laughs> so if you have three, okay. one, a two, zero, does it mean what? <laughs> we will share results just after, you're right. We'll share ah. it. I will tell you. Thank you. Two in total, okay. Hmm. Do you see uh, Alex at the chat? Huh? I, I didn't see the, the chat. I tried, but I didn't see it. No, huh? I can't see it. I can't see it. This is very strange. Yeah. So there is a lot of colleagues saying uh, two in total, three in total, yeah. four in total, uh, one you know, different levels, four and uh, seven. Okay, so this okay. is... We, we, we will continue, it's good, okay. There are different level of energy in each dimension. Can I go on the next one, mind energy? Yes. One, one. One, three, four, zero. So we have a very different level of, of you know, the, 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 the answers. Yeah. It's great. You could share your best practices when you are high on the energy. It will help the other. It's great. In total, one in total still, two, two. <laughs> okay, we can go. Okay, we can do the spiritual and the last one. Ah, this is the spiritual. Hmm.
Somebody said that it's not uh, necessary to share it in the chat, but if you feel uh, like uh, sh sharing it, there is no problem for us. So those who would like to share, and this is good to know because for, for, for Alexia it's, it's also interesting after that to, 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 to give you the answer. Okay, can we share results? So, um, three in total, uh, uh, could, you, could you please show again um, the, sli the slide of uh, emotional because it's somebody asked to do that. Yes, I've just done it. So mm -hmm. I frequently feel irritable and passionate and anxious at work, yeah. If you can put in the chat if uh, you have finished on the questionnaire, please. Mm -hmm. And for those who are finished, you can you can reflect. No, we have a lot of, uh, but this is very strange that you don't have uh, the access to the chat. Yes, Maybe. I know. I know. I can see it, but uh, it don't. It doesn't open. So. So we can let's let's uh, share results. A low score if you have zero one on a dimension. It means that you have excellent management skills of that dimension. And if you are a high score, four or five, it means that you have low energy in that dimension, but it means also that you have a great potential to develop it. So it's great news. Let's now see best practices to boost your energy in each dimension. You will see that Best practices are often very simple. I invite you to question your reality across these tips. The difficulty will be to integrate them as daily rituals, and you'll manage to do it with practice and tenacity. Alexia, there's a, yes. somebody who is ask, asking us for mind and mind energy again. Yes. We all we all miss mind. So could you just come back to mind energy? Yeah, absolutely. Thank you very much. You know we are no problem. No problem. So I would like to tell you that we will send to you all all a PowerPoint um, presentation so uh, so that you will be able to practice that at home or I mean. No, now we are all at home, but I mean, at, at home in the office in the future. Ah, two months ago, my result was eight to one, 20 today is, it is one twenty. Oh. Physical for emotional one, spirit two, mind one. Um, if I may, there are just two colleagues, Sophie and Monty Monty, who have their camera on. Maybe they didn't want to have it on. But this is the, they could just uh, off the camera. Okay, Maria, do you think we can go on or? Yeah, totally 70 and five on 20. And again, spiritual one, you know, we have to repeat it. Thanks, Alex. Spiritual. Never mind. And now we go to the, we are 223 people. <laughs> great. We are, we are working on our energy, it's great. Yes, it's great news. 
it's great news because you, you take time to focus on yourself and uh, so we have for example somebody who is 13 and 20 to 20. If you have 13, 20, it's, it's not bad, huh? It's not bad, absolutely. Total 12. Four. And now there is somebody who is asking you to clarify in the, 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 the interpretation of the result. Yeah. Um, the interpretation of this is that if... Uh, the score. The, the score. If you have zero or one, it means that you have excellent management skill on that energy dimension. And the, uh, it's zero, one on one dimension. And if you have uh, a high score, four or five, it means that you have low energy in that dimension. And it's what I said, it's just that you have a great potential to develop it. And that's what we will see just after. How to higher our level of energy in a dimension. Is it clearer? Yeah. I have three or four in all dimensions. That, what does it mean? Three or four, it means that uh, it's middle, middle energy. So probably uh, you have developed uh, some rituals, personal rituals that uh, give you energy on the day, but you can go further with another rituals. Okay. I have five in all but mind energy. Five what does it on, mean? Five of on, mind. Okay, so it means that on all but mind. Okay, so it means that uh, you have a uh, good management of mind energy and uh, potential to develop the other dimensions. Maybe the other dimensions are, are low and you can develop, you have a potential to develop your energy in the other dimensions. And if you have in uh, four, it in spiritual point four is not clear. The, the, the statement number I four. I don't spend some time doing simple things just because they sweet me and make me feel good. Yes, it's just, um, the question means that the statement means, I'm sorry, that uh, you don't spend a lot, of, a lot of time on a day to do just what you like to do. Um, okay, so we now we move on, okay? Okay, yes. It will be, uh, we are going to see all, all energy dimension with a focus. So let's see tips to boost your energy and uh, as I told you, um, it, it, it's some simple rituals, but the difficulty will be to integrate them. Uh, but you, you'll manage to do it with training and tenacity. So let's start with physical dimension with body. Physical energy depends on four main actions. First is sleeping. Let's start with sleeping. While sleeping, our body is recovering. It's our first way to recover. It represents one third of our lives. It's vital. A small deficit in sleep has significant consequences on our strengths, on our mood, and our energy in general. Several studies show that intellectual performance, like reactivity, memory, logic, focus, go down with sleeping deficit. Institutes recommend eight hours per night. We are all unique. Some of you need six hours while others need nine hours. I encourage you to find your appropriate time to wake up at your best. To fall asleep, you can, you can make a body scan, which means relaxing your whole body from head to foot. We all have the ability to influence our sleeping. 
that's what the military does during their missions. Second is nutrition. Food is a fuel for our body. Quality and quantity impact our body health. When we wake up in the morning, our glucose rate in our blood is very low. To relaunch our metabolism and to feel active and strong body, breakfast will help to grow this glucose rate in our blood. Moreover, hydration is also very important. Drinking one and a half liters of water a day is recommended to hydrate our muscles correctly. A loss of 3% of hydration impacts 8% on our strength and 10% of reaction speed. Third is physical activities. Physical activities are very important because it helps uh, to, it helps efficiency, it helps focus, uh, and it helps to have a strong and active body. Physical activities reduce mental health by reducing depression, anxiety, and fear. World Health Organization recommends 22 minutes of physical activities a day. When you, you want to active your body, you can uh, also have a stretch, take a walk. Um, and when you are on teleworking, it's important to make a break every two hours. Abdominal breathing. Breathing is a first way for self-regulation. It helps to reduce stress. It helps to feel good. And it's very important for our active body. So the recommendation when you feel stress, when you're not good, is to have deep abdominal breathing. It will be a good way for self-regulation. For now, we are going to do an exercise all together. This exercise is here reflexology. It's like foot reflexology, but I, I've chosen here reflexology for, for this conference. So I invite you to massage your heels. We can do all together. Just right now, you can massage your hair from the top to the bottom. In our ears, we have a lot of nerves endings that are relied on our body. And focus on your feelings. Is it pleasant? Is it unpleasant? What do you feel in your head, in your mind, and in your body? And when you are finished massaging, you can pull on your ears and pay attention to your body. It's an exercise you can make everywhere at any time, just to have a little boost. Okay, let's see now. Is everyone okay? Yes, everyone with us. We can go on emotional energy. Yes. Okay, so emotional energy helps to access to emotional balance, to positivity and resilience. There are four main emotions, joy, sadness, joy, sadness, fear, and anger. It's really important to identify these four emotions 
and it's fundamental to accept them. The target will be to deliver ourselves from the negative emotions. Why? Because in the long term, negative emotions have a toxic effect on our body by releasing stress hormones like cortisol. Moreover, negative emotions are inefficient and costly. We can spread them easily around us and create a defensive behavior from others, like sadness, like anger, like fear. And at work, negative emotions impact focus and performance. On the contrary, positive emotions, with positive emotions, we feel better and it helps, it facilitates in a long-term engagement at work and at home. So how to access to positive emotions? It's by pleasure. Pleasure is a priority. Pleasure is a, pro is a present for yourself. It's essential over time. In a week, how many hours do you dedicate to an activity just for your emotional satisfaction? Ways to access positivity and emotional balance are changing ideas. Changing ideas, it regenerates efficiently your emotions. It can be walking on the beach, it's not always possible, but when it is, it's great. Uh, it can be singing, cooking, gardening, going to the theater, to the cinema, doing sport, doing yoga. Everything you like to do and that change your ideas. A second tip is giving free hugs. But why? Because studies show that uh, shows that it raises positivity by releasing, activating um, pleasure hormone, pleasure hormones like um, dopamine, oxytocin, endorphin. So let's have free hugs with your friends, with your family, um, with generosity, and maybe with your colleagues when when we, you will see each other. But think of it, could be a great thing. Third best practice to hire your emotional energy is practicing gratitude. Sincere gratitude for yourself, sincere gratitude for others. It's not a big thing to do, but it's, it's uh, allow an excess on emotional balance and positivity. Another action, very simple and powerful, is giving positive feedback. Giving positive feedback with authenticity and generosity. If you don't mean it, just don't do it. But if you mean it, just go. It's emotionally good as for the giver, as a receiver. Can you remember the last positive feedback you've received? Can you remember the last positive feedback you have given? When was it? How did Alexia, you feel? COVID, yeah. Alexa, COVID and hugs is not, that's, that's not working. You have to find another. Uh, I mean, solution. But they, the people found it. How for, to for, how to transmit the the, the hug? I mean, uh, yes, yes, absolutely. You're right. You're right. For free eggs, free eggs. We. I know that, um, and you're right. Um, effectively, uh, we can't have a lot of free eggs, but as soon as we can do it as soon as uh, the situation is better, just make a lot of free hug because it's very good for your emotional balance. Yes, but you're right. It's not 
really appropriate in that situation, unfortunately. So, uh, yes, for the positive feedback, uh, can you remember if when you received the positive feedback or when you have given a positive feedback, did it change your emotional state? And did it change your well-being in general? All activities, fulfilling, gratifying, rewarding, are a good way to access to a high level of emotional energy and to positivity and emotional balance. We are now going to do another exercise. You will see that thinking about a, pers a person or a place we love or a thing we love connects us to our heart and flows us with positive emotion. Having happy memory you can call on time of emotional stress is a quick and easy way to access to positive emotions. Let's have, let's do all together a mental picture exercise. So if you can just close your eyes, let's do it all together. You can close your eyes and think about a person, an animal, a place, a thing you love. Imagine the object of your affection in as much detail as possible. Form, color, touch, Why do you love that person, that animal, place or thing? Connect to your emotions and notice your feelings in your mind, in your body. How do you feel at this moment? Did you notice any changes in your emotional state? When you have anchored this mental picture in your body, in your mind, you can come back with me. This is precious exercise that it's frequently used by special forces during their missions to access very quickly on emotional balance when we are faced to negative emotions and difficult situations. Okay, Maria, do you think it's okay to go on? Yeah, <clears throat> good, thanks. For now, let's see mind energy, how to boost mind energy. Mind energy helps access to a clear mind and focus. Mind energy is the opposite of mental load. Mental load is when you have a lot of thoughts in your head. It's when you struggle between home and work activities. It's when you are present physically, but not with your head. An excess of mental load raises stress and can lead time after time to exhaustion. One way to access mind energy and reduce mental load is practicing mindfulness. Our thoughts navigate between past and future. To have a mental rest, it's important to focus on present time. This is mindfulness, to be focused on ourselves and present time. When 
you have a lot of thoughts troubling your mind and you want to relax, you can take several deep breaths and focus on your breath and on present time. This way, you give your mind a rest for, for a few minutes. You mentally recover. Second way to energize your mind's energy is to reach high focus. It's important to foster single tasking rather than multitasking. Easy to say, I know, isn't it? How to be performance when we are on several tasks at the same time? Multitasking reduces focus and efficiency at work and at home. It impacts actions, decisions, and creativity in finding solutions when we are on several, time, on several tasks at the same time. I know th this is not common thinking. We often believe that the more we do at the same time, the more productive we are and the better we are. This is the contrary. The more focused on the task we are, the more efficient we are, the more performance we will be. A third way to grow mind energy is to do a creative activity. Why? The reason is simple. In our brain, we have two zones, the left and the right. The left is logical, rational. When you feel mental load, it often comes from left zone. To rest your mind, it's important to activate the right zone. The right zone is creativity, imagination, intuition. When the right zone is stimulated, it brings energy to the left one with the rest. This is why doing a creative activity recover mind energy and give mind energy. Another best practice to boost mind energy is to meditate. Meditations help mind serenity by focus, focusing on a specific topic. It helps control our thoughts, put them aside for a moment and paying attention to our body, to our mind. It's very soothing for, for our mind. Meditation and mindfulness can be used everywhere at any time. For instance, at work, uh, we can use it before doing a boring task, for instance. We all have a part of boring task in our job, don't we? We can take a few minutes to take deep breaths and focus on present time, focus on yourself. It will help you to put aside all, all your thoughts and then you can start your task fully focused on it and fully present on it. It will help efficiency. It's the same on a day you go from a meeting to another one all day long. Between two meetings, you can take a few minutes to, to, to take deep breaths and focus on this breath. You just focus on yourself, just to recover your mind, to put aside your thoughts, and then you can start the next meeting fully present on its subject. And it will help efficiency, focus, decision-making. To conclude on that dimensions, uh, we are going to listen um, a little story. So I am gonna give you the um, link because uh, you are going to see on your own the waterfall on the Petit Bamboo website. It's uh, the fourth video uh, on the link I am going to give you. And just listen carefully this little story. So I am going to give you. Yes, I can see the chat now. So it's good. Yeah, because it was a presentation. Now you see a lot of questions you have. Okay, up. Uh, 
good. Okay. I've just sent you on in the chat the link in the website, the Petit Bamboo. When you are on the website, on these pages, you go on the video number four. The name of this video is The Waterfall. I invite you to listen right now on your own this video and then just if you can say when it's done in the chat. Please, thanks. Maria, if you can tell me when the audience is back. Yes, it's done. It's done, right. It's done. I mean, it's, uh, I have a lot of uh, reaction that's done. Okay, well, Maybe thank you. Someone. Somebody, tell, somebody told that it's marvelous. Merveilleux. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you for this sharing. Okay, so we have seen three dimensions. Now we are going to talk about spiritual energy, the last dimension. Spiritual energy is the meaning we give to our life, to our, to our job, to our, it, it, our purpose in life. It's, it's what drives us day after day to wake up in the morning and to, to, to to make action. One way to access a high level of spiritual energy is to find a reason to. Simon Sinek talk about our why, finding our why. I can hear me on, on echo, I'm sorry. That's the just what I, I, I'm silenced, no. I, I just have an echo that I didn't have before. Doesn't matter, but I don't know where does it come from. I think that's that's from. We are me. all muted. We are all muted. So I... okay, okay. Um, so I, I said that the first the first way to higher spiritual energy finding a reason to be. And Simon Sinek talk about our why, finding our why. And why is it so important to find a reason to be? It's because that's what I just said, that it's what drives us day after day. It's what our purpose in life. To give you an example, the, the why of our European astronaut, Thomas Pesquet, it seems that 
uh, it's to contribute to find the main answers for human being, which means to when he wants to go to Mars, it's to find answers of life, how life um, created, help searches to find how life can disappear. It's important to him to help human being to, to have answer to these questions. From going Sorry, to may I ask to, 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 to switch uh, off your micro, Paula? Because there is an echo, sorry. Sorry, uh, I press it by mistake. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And uh, it seems that he has a second uh, spiritual energy is to, to, to give messages about the fragility of Earth. And when he, he is on space, like right now, um, he can see the fragility uh, of our planet. And to him, it's very important to, to give these messages to like to, to, save, to save the planet. And another example of the why of Nelson Mandela, for, for instance, it seems that it was to wrestle against racial seg segregation. And this spiritual energy has given him the extraordinary strength to spend 27 years in jail. Spiritual energy is the feeling to be part of something big and something over and to act for something over personal interest. For me, uh, you, the members of the European Commission, are part of something big. Each one of you, whatever your contribution at, at European Commission, to the European Commission, you participate daily in the European Global Strategy you participate daily to build a European future in the general interest of everyone in Europe. Another example is people who are dedicated to voluntary work. They work just for the meaning the mission has for them. A second way to develop your spiritual energy is to practice our passion. Sometimes our passion comes from work, sometimes it comes from personal activity. When it comes from work, it's extraordinary. Work is pleasure, all great. When it comes from personal activity, it's important to, to, to practice it a, a lot, and as you wish, as you want, and as you can. Also. But when work is not patient, which often happens because oh, we have. Sorry, Please, Zulema, you. can you turn off your uh, micro? We have a people who have the yeah, the micro open. Okay, thank you very much, thank you. So I've just said that when work is not our passion, which often happens because we all have repeat, repetitive and boring tasks in our job, uh, it could be interesting to reflect on our link, uh, on our place in the organiz organization chain and see if we find new energy in the mission of our organization. It was passion. Now, third is to access to a high level of uh, spiritual energy is to find our deep values. For instance, if your deep value is respect, the more you give respect and the more you receive respect, the better you will feel. Another example to boost your energy uh, level in, uh, in the spiritual energy 
is reading an inspiring book, is walking in nature, is listening an inspiring speaker, spending quality time with your children, sharing a big dream, making a vision board that, an, that can help you to do your actions with energy all day long. And at the end of the day also, you can take time to reflect on what you have done and what makes yourself proud. We have seen the four dimensions of energy and several tips to boost your energy in the different level. Could you please share in the chat what kind of awareness this trace? <laughs> okay, time, time pressure. Complexity of energy influence. Okay. Another sharings about what awareness did you raise to you? Take time to implement this action during the day. Yes, absolutely. It's practicing, like 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 sportsmen do, or like uh, firefighters do, like the military does. Can be seen. We have a spiritual dimension and it can be said openly at the commission. Repri to reprioritize, absolutely important. One more to do, deep value practice at work. Okay, great, thank you. Thank you all for your sharing. Okay, so let's go on. Thank you all for this sharing. Okay, so now we are going to see the benefits of a high level of energy. Just I have a, a stop with my slide, but like at the start, I'm sure it will come in a few minutes. So I, I just would like to, to tell you here that, um, that a high level of energy has several benefits for you, for your project, for your team, for your organization. And benefit number one of a high level of energy is your total well-being. This is the more, the more important, your total well-being. Reflect on how you would feel if you were in total well-being. What would you do differently? What would it change on your daily actions? If your team, your peers were in total well-being, what would be the benefits and the impact on you? In organizations, total well-being and full engagement help cooperation mindset. It helps to facilitate changes. It helps, it boosts creativity in finding solutions. It helps uh, agility in the VUCA world. Um, it allows the alliance between well-being and efficiency, productivity, focus, and performance. We are going to, to go on your individual action plan. So 
I just would like to share you the presentation at the same time. So I start again. I'm sorry for, for, for this uh, interruption. Can you see my screen? Is it okay? Yes. Okay, good. So I, I give you I give you maybe two minutes to write your individual action plan. It's important to, to write just little action, just little steps you would like to implement on your daily actions. Maybe you can focus on dimension where you had a low level of energy or not, it's just like you wish. Just few actions with their time of implementation. This way, it's kind of engagement that you take for yourself and with yourself. Just a few seconds left before questions. Okay, well, maybe we can go on questions. Maria, have you noticed some questions during the conference? Yes, there is, yes. so we do have the, I do not remember anything any more about body, mind, emotion or spirit. So, you know, just to repeat what is the, the energy of, of body, mind, emotion and spirit. Would you have some sources to share with us in reaching to Father Arud about the four energy dimension and full potential? This is after our presentation. And uh, another question, uh, are there many, any sources, books you can recommend, Alexia? Because uh, for, for and, uh, our colleague, it's a bit too scattered in all, all over the place. Um, Oh, okay. Sorry, you have to leave. Okay, so no, we don't have in so many. So I think this is the question that they, everyone has to work on on it, maybe alone at home as well. Okay, so just the question for the references. Uh, absolutely, I will. Uh, I will give you uh, on the presentation uh, if, if you want some links to go further on the different dimension uh, to go further to 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 go on a higher level of energy in that dimension. So if it's okay for you, I will add in this presentation some references. You can go. You ask me also, uh, what about the practices in the dimensions? Is that, that was the questions. That was the question, Maria. Yes, or uh, if this person can, can write once again his question to be sure. He thanks the for question was that. Good, I'll do it.
it, it can have a lot of uh, energy ritual in, in the four dimensions, but maybe you there are rituals. You maybe you are not conscious of that, but you have rituals and you practice rituals every day. Integrating a new ritual will be important to higher your level of energy, but it's really important that you feel good with this ritual. And maybe with the rituals we have seen here, some of them will fit you and others won't. And it's okay with that. It's, impor it's important that it will be something that at first start, it will take you energy to integrate it in your daily and in your daily actions. But then when you have anchor this habit, it won't take any energy and it will give you energy. But some, some little tips don't take a lot of time, just, just a ritual. Would there is a question about the music. What kind ah, of music yes. you recommend? What music would you recommend? It's, it's a really good question because I didn't talk a lot about music, but we have all experience and we, are, we have all music that give us immediately a good energy and positive mindset. Uh, music is a really, really good way to, to boost our body, uh, to boost our mind and to access positive emotions. Uh, it exists uh, some 10, 10 positive music that are defined because of their rhythm, because of their, um, of their parole. Uh, it, the top 10 of positive music, uh, positive music uh, to listen, to access to positive energy. I suggest you to, to write this link of this music on, on, uh, on the references at the end of the conference. Yeah. And then you can, you can, you can uh, listen all music that it's uh, appropriate of what you want. If you want to relax, maybe your music won't be a positive music, but it will be a relaxing music. And to identify the better for you, it's important to listen and see and see your feelings about this music. Alexia, I have a comment from Blondine that I would like to thank to my colleague Blondine who is uh, with us and, and she just discovered you. So uh, I, 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 I will share the, the comment from Blondina. I have been working on the different type of energy for two months following Alexia's conference a few months ago. I could really improve the emotional energy. This is great. <laughs> Thank you. Hello, Blondine. Thank you. I assume hello. it is sent to hello, everyone. Maya. Yes. Hello, Blondine. Yes, hello. hello. Um, just a few words uh, to say that I discovered uh, Alexia and this approach on the different type of energy two months ago. And so I've been learning and trying to uh, exercise myself. And I must say that on the emotional uh, energy, uh, through meditations, through creativity above all, I really could improve. And this morning, it was very interesting because I did the test, the level of energy, and uh, a few months ago I had a high level. And this morning I had only one out of 20 and really I could see the benefit uh, of working on the different type of energy. Uh, I think it's easier to do it on emotional uh, energy rather than on spiritual energy, because as many of you mentioned, we may have uh, values, uh, etc., but it's difficult to make it coincidence with uh, our work and daily life. Uh, but from the meditation, creativity, I, I like drawing, for instance, painting, really it helps to improve. So I would uh, encourage all colleagues to, uh, to exercise and you will see if there is a real benefit. And thank you, Alexia. Thank you, Blondine. What a, what a job. What a good job you have done. Great. 
Yes, thank you very much, Blondine. And uh, I think that um, we have to, to be aware of the, the fact that we don't have a lot of time. In the beginning of our chat and exchange, and uh, thank you very much for all colleagues to, to be so open and to share with us what's, uh, um, uh, the, the point of view, uh, they said, yes, but we have all the time the meetings for hours, uh, never ending meetings. Uh, this is our reality. So it's, it's very complicated, but I think that the message from our uh, meeting today is to just take care of ourselves and to take time, even 30 minutes, and it will improve our efficiency and energy and we have to take care of ourselves before taking care of others because it links this is my what i've learned from you and not only from you another question is that the old people are not uh, ready to doing meditation it's not for everyone so for example singing is a very good practice or other other activities like that so it's maybe for everyone the way to find who is what is the best way of just the connect of our emails of our files and the things like that absolutely absolutely uh, i totally understand that meditation they don't fit with everyone and it's okay with that it's okay you just to find your appropriate rituals um and to implement it but uh, we are all unique it's personal you're right absolutely thank you alex is it's, it's, it's the, it's the end or you have still something Yes, we are going to, to conclude. I am going to conclude. Just before conclusion, if you can, if you can um, ask yourself, what is your level of energy at this moment in the scale of zero to 10? The question is for yourself. Your, your energy, is your energy fluctuated since one hour or not? And just to pay attention to your energy at during the day and over time. Just if you ask yourself, did my level of energy has fluctuated or not? And then if you can please put in the chat just your last word. Last word at the end of this conclusion. And then I, I will conclude myself. But if you can share some words. Namaste. Thank you. Gratitude, great. There Salam. is a lot of things. Nice. Uh, thank you. Namaste. Thank you. Very inspiring. Excellent. Gratitude. Nice ideas. Thank you. Deep breath. Gratitude. Gratitude. Positive. Wonderful ideas. Thank you so much. Joy. Thank you. Positive thoughts. Mm, Come great. back. Hope. Thanks a lot. Very inspiring. You made me aware my mind energy is zero. Special. Yes, nice addition to the existing toolbook, so to say. Serenity. Thank you very much. Thank Alexa. you. Yes, to, just to conclude, I would like just to conclude very quickly uh, with one figure, one picture and a date. One figure, the figure is 66. It, the, the, the average number of day to anchor a new ritual. And we are all unique. Some of you will need 20 days to anchor a new habit and others will need 250 days no matter, my message is don't get discouraged. You, you will manage to do it with practice and tenacity. So just don't get discouraged and welcome all your progress with and difficulties, with caring and without judgment. All tips we have seen here, as I said, uh, are not exhaustive. Some of them will fit you, others won't. And it's okay, it's okay. The picture is the iceberg. We have seen here 
the, the um, image part of the iceberg, but there is still the, the, the part under the sea that is your personal rituals that are appropriate to your daily situation, to your daily life. The ritual exists and I encourage you to find your personal rituals to implement. And third is a date because today is the 21st of May and 21st of May special day uh, because UNESCO defines 21st of May as World Day for cultural diversity, for dialogue and development. And I just would like to say you that it seems to me that today, all together, we have embodied cultural diversity. We have embodied dialogue and development. So I'm very grateful and thank you all for this moment. And finally, I would like, of course, uh, uh, sharing a big thank you to Blondin and to Maria for inviting me today for this presentation. Uh, big thanks for your help in preparation and the organization of this conference. And uh, I don't know if Awa is here, but I just would like to thank you also for her support. Thank you all, uh, all of you. Thank you very much, uh, Alexia. I am very happy to see that we, you have received a lot of positive comments. And I think, I think that we have to uh, take into account and maybe make you come back uh, again. And uh, if I may, I may I have a suggestion, something how to manage our time because you, everything is really fantastic, your advice and your approach. But I think that a lot of colleagues and sometimes myself, we don't we don't take enough the opportunity for ourselves and how to manage our you know 12 hours, 12 or 24 hours. So dealing with time management. This is something very, 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 very um, crucial for us. But of course, everyone has to work on that. But we are, um, we are working in the team. We are working in this big uh, institution and uh, which are, uh, the tasks are very demanding that it takes a lot of time and uh, it's not so easy. So maybe you will find something for us and tell us how to manage how to find it. The time. Okay, great program and a great subject. Uh, it's really important because as you said, days are 24 hours and there is no more. So it's important to find things uh, to, to manage this time. And uh, it would be very interesting to, to, to work on that. I would be very okay. happy, yeah. So, Thank you very much, Alexa. 